Ian Colbrook, Scott Ray's Kane in the Grade Three Commonwealth. Uh, off since uh, the day after Christmas, why'd you pick this spot for the next race? Ah, it's just a logical race to come back in. I mean, there was an allowance later on in the meet that if you needed a little more time, we'd try to go to that. But you know, he came along, came to hand pretty quick, and you know, seven furlongs at his home track kind of seems pretty like the right spot. How's he training? Training great. Yeah, I think he's really made the. You know, the move from three to four, he's filled out. He's a stronger horse. You know, last year he kind of, I mean, he had a hard campaign too, but, you know, he wasn't really a real masculine type. You know, he kind of almost trained him like a filly. And he, you know, he struggled a little bit with some with his keeping weight on him. But, you know, since he's turned into a four-year-old, he's kind of become a man, so to speak. And, uh, no, he's been training great, real good works, and likes the track here. So we're excited. He's won at a variety of distances. Do you have a feel for what his best is? Well, I mean, I think he's never won a race around two turns so I mean I obviously I think he is better around one turn he's won at a one turn mile seven furlongs and uh twice so and, you know he's run good around two turns I mean he almost won the obviously the the Indian, Indiana Derby last year so he can get I think he can get two turns but I do think the when the pace is a little bit more honest you know you can kind of come with that late run and just kind of wear him down around one turn where two turns I think Sometimes the horses with the tactical speed and they can slow it down and it makes it a little bit more difficult for them. For the rider, what's the, the key to getting Race Kane's best? You know, I think Louie fits him to a glove because he's one of those horses, the more you ride him and the more you kind of keep pushing on him, he'll keep coming and keep giving you more. So I think, you know, there's nobody that rides harder than Louie, in my opinion. You know, he's always he's always got him in the right spot, but he's always, you know, he's hard to get by in a finish and he's strong as can be. So um, I think they just, the two of them kind of really fit each other well. Anything you're anything else you're excited about for opening weekend? Yeah, I got a couple in opening day. I think that are both live. You know, one filly that's kind of going up the ladder. She won a cheap maiden, or you know, maiden seventy five hundred at uh, off a long layoff um, in the first race on Friday. But she's been training really well and was just second in the same kind of race, or sorry, third in the same kind of race at uh, at Turfway. So, um, you know, I think she's she's live. You know, running her on the dirt, which I think she'd probably be better for. She's a hard spun filly. And then I've got uh, Maiden in on Friday that, you know, she's she ran second to Kenny's Philly that uh, came back and was second in the Bourbonette in her only start this year. And she she's, you know, run some really good races, just hasn't won yet. So, But it's a tough race. You know, these Maidens on the grass at Keeneland are brutal. So, um, But I think both of those will give a good showing anyway.